tell me a story about a student or family that, that or, or situation that presented a particular challenge that at the end of it was, you know, the, made the, themselves or their school a better place. All of them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, give us a minute. Oh, look. I mean, I can go way back to when I first, in my first year of teaching. It's not to say that the school became a better place because of the family. I think there was one family who was having problems at home and a young boy who was in my class had, you know, kind of carried a lot of those problems with him um, and a lot of that was acted out here at school. I think that the school did everything we possibly could to help support that family and I know, f- you know, from my own, you know, engagement with, with, the, with the mother especially that everything that the school did to help support her with with both her kids was, you know, did not go unnoticed. I mean, it didn't necessarily end up with, you know, a win-win for either the school or the family per se, but I know that she took away a lot from knowing that her kids were being cared for while they were here at school and she really valued that. And I think from a personal perspective that any kind of challenge that that is presented to you gives you an opportunity to learn more about yourself, you know, not just as a, as a human but as a, you know, in your practice and how you engage with, you know, with little people and big people. And so, you know, for me personally that was a massive introduction to the school and to the challenges that it presented and... I've been here nearly 17 years now, so the fact that that was my first year of teaching, it says, sort of says that, you know, I didn't um, let that get to me. And that, you know, that's, it's one of the things that I always notice about people that return is that they, they're not shy of the impact that it leaves on you, however great or small that it is, it is a special place. And it's not all sunshine and lollipops. <laughs> right, right. Nothing is, but it's not. And, and, and we don't profess to be, but what we do profess to be is real and supportive and, and everyone who comes into here will hopefully come out of it with some sort of positive something that they've learnt or experienced or developed in, in their, their journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think everyone would probably have a story like that. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>